Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try to make a, a quick video to show what does distortion look like in a guitar amp. Uh, a, a oscilloscope, we have an oscilloscope here, and it allows us to visualize sound waves. We can use that information and compare different shapes and we kind of get an idea as an amp designer or a musician or whatever that uh, this kind of distortion we like it or this kind we don't like or you know how to put things together but, but it's, there's a lot of art to it but you know this will help you get get some uh, design decisions made and also see some correlation between uh, you know what's going on with stuff so I've got over here an Ampeg Jet J20. This is a kind of a new Ampeg that's got the hand wired stuff in it, and uh, it just happens to be on my bench, so we're just going to use it for this demo. It's also real simple, just a two knob amp, volume and tone. It's got tremolo, but we've got it turned off for this, so just forget about it. We're plugged into the normal input, and I'm just going to basically turn on my signal generator and turn it up and watch what happens on the oscilloscope. So I've got the amp and the speaker is disconnected from it, and it's plugged into here, into my dummy load that I made. The dummy load acts as a speaker that's silent, and we pull the signal off of it. Off of the dummy load, it's kind of dumbed down 10 to 1, so if we have 20 volts coming out of here, we have 2 volts coming out of here, which is a safe level for my oscilloscope. And then we can watch the shape of what, compare this top Wave will be the waveform from straight from my signal generator, which is going to be a perfectly clean sine wave at one kilohertz. And then the bottom wave is going to be uh, whatever the amplifier is, the shape that it's outputting. It may be exactly the same as the top while it's clean before it starts to clip. And then you'll see as it starts to clip what happens. So here goes nothing. Okay, as you can see, there's the sine wave from straight from my clean signal generator. It's perfectly round, it's perfectly even. That's a clean sine wave, clean sound wave. As we start to turn up the guitar amp, you can see the level starts to rise. You can see it's output putting a voltage here. That's the out. So now, that is you know, that's pretty much clean. That's just exactly what the amp, basically, exact, they're basically the same. So the amplifier is making the input signal exactly the same, only way louder, 14 volts, and this is 150 millivolts. So that's, you know, whatever that is, 100 times louder. So, but if we keep going past that, okay, now that's clipping the top, of the wave and the bottom of the wave are clipped. They're not round anymore because the headroom in the amp is no longer there. The more we increase the signal, it's not really going to get any louder now. It's just going to distort more. And at this point, you know, that's light clipping and that sounds, you know, kind of medium, medium gainy. Now, here's where it starts to get interesting. Notice the sides as we clip it more. See that little notch right there? That's called the crossover notch. That's also a type of distortion. That's because one half of the wave, represented by the upper half of this shape, is one output tube, and the other half is the other output tube. So this amp has two 6V6s in it. Uh, pardon me, two 6L6s. So this upper half of the wave is one 6L6, and the bottom half of the wave is the other one. The phase splitter feeds two separate signals, one to each tube, and then they're summed together in the output transformer and fed to our dummy load, which would normally be our speaker. So now you can see where the two signals split. There's some discrepancy there, and that's also a distortion that we'll hear. So if we keep cranking her up, now we're at about six and a half on the dial. You can see that crossover notch, not only is it moved up, it's not symmetrical on either side. So this, now we're starting to get, well, we've got some square wave on the bottom here. That's kind of a square wave. We've got kind of some sawtooth wave going here. We've got some 
more sort of square waves sitting on top of this sawtooth wave, and it's not symmetrical. As you can see, the two waves are not even. That's going to sound different. I mean, obviously, that's a different kind of sound. But if we keep going, that sort of almost squares up, but then, I mean, I've pretty much got her dime now. Got some nice sawtooth action here. And it's very asymmetrical. So as you can see, the different styles of distortion that you can get just by changing the signal levels. You can also kind of hear it. Can you hear it? You can hear the signal in the output transformer of the amps. I don't know if a lot of people know that. But I just always thought that was really neat. And once you kind of get a pick, get a a feel for this, you can kind of design your amp to uh, clip how you want once you figure out how that all works. So anyway, that's really it. Just a short little simple video.